The battle of the blends continues. It's a big thing in the current Irish whiskey market. There are a tremendous amount of contenders. Does this particular whiskey hit the mark? I'm not gonna lie. There are a lot of bottlings coming out or are out in this price range. It's a whiskey you're familiar with and spelt without the E and with a different finish this time around. Let's drink some whiskey. Welcome to Whiskey and Whiskey. I'm the Whiskey Chaser, Brian, here in Chrissy's Bar, Kilkenny. I hope you're keeping well. So about a year ago now, I did a review on the first core range offering from the McConnell's brand, and it was met here in Ireland with a lot of positive reviews, and it was a decent blended whiskey, to be fair. Jump forward to recent times, as in the last three to four weeks, and the McConnell's brand have brought forward a brand new core range offering, a slightly different take on their previous release, and sort of uh, jumping into the current trend-ish of blended whiskies. You'll see what I mean in a second. Sherry lovers around the world can rejoice. This is the McConnell's five-year-old blended whiskey sherry cask finish. I myself am indeed a sherry finished whiskey fan who isn't, and uh, I was pleasantly surprised to see this bottle of whiskey land on my doorstep. Shout out to the folks at Belfast Distillery Co who hooked me up with the bottle FOC. There may be a little bit gone out of it at this stage, as you can see, uh, but just because I had a, had a tasting recently. One of mine. This has been gifted to me, obviously, but all thoughts are my own, obviously. And like I had said just a moment ago, uh, I did a review of the original McConnell's last year. I will leave a link above to it. And in that video, I went into some heavy detail about the origins of the McConnell's whiskey brand, which is actually good, very interesting and their misfortunes. And of course, where it was being distilled in the old Cromac distillery. Now, to be fair, it is a very extensive review. So if you want to know more about that, watch the original video. There is tons of detail in it. Um, we jump forward to today and I'm delighted to report that since the last video on McConnell's I did, Belfast Distillery Co. have been granted planning permission to build their new state-of-the-art distillery in the former Crumlin Road Jail. Exciting, time, exciting times ahead for the brand. Congratulations to all. So what is this whiskey here? Well, in essence, it's the same five-year-old whiskey as the green label, only the whiskey has been blended and then finished for six months in Oloroso sherry casks. Previously to that, obviously, was bourbon barrels for five years. This is a 46% ABV non-chill filter blend of 40% Irish malt and 60% Irish grain. I hope I got that right off the top of my head. Uh, from Great Northern Distillery. This is actually 4% higher in ABV than the Green Label version. So a little bit more flavor gonna be happening here. Uh, for that extra 4% ABV, you're gonna be paying a bit more also. The Green Label priced in around the 38 euros mark and the Sherry version here priced at 55 euros. And we pour a little bit of what's left out of the awesome bottle into the glass. I'm gonna let that breathe for a minute. A little bit of a side note here. I love, love, I'm not kissing ass. I said it before in the last video. The McConnell's bottling and labeling is just shit cool. The colorway scheme is fantastic. The branded uh, copper top label thing is kick ass. Uh, everything, the bottle is cool, it's weighty, it looks good, it stands out. I said it on the last one, the McConnell's Green Label, I actually had a picture of the two of these side by side. Class, well done. So let's see how well the extra ABV and sherry cast finish works on this. Uh, I was a fan of the original Green Label. It was a decent price point too. Let's see if the extra 17 euros is worth it. Give it a chance to breathe, let's do some tasting notes. On the nose, all about the sherry, right? First thing that stands out, think figs, dates, right? Demerara sugar. Maple syrup. You're not getting much alcohol burn there, to be fair. Um, a touch of dark chocolate. 
Yeah, it's really all about the maple syrup, demerara sugar, um, touch of cinnamon spice there. Very, very light, very, very light um, spice. You know what? That's a great nose in whiskey. I haven't even gotten to the palate yet, but I can tell you right now, it's a great nose in whiskey. That demerara is kind of, I'm not sure is it demerara or burnt sugar, kind of a, a note. Either or, you'd be happy. Yeah, it's leveling out a little bit now, kind of a little bit more of that grainy note coming through there in the end. Dried fruits, ah, oh, it comes across drying on the nose and not overly thick, right? So there's, just, there, there, there's for a five-year-old whiskey, there's a medium amount of complexity here. It's not crazy, it's not boring, depending on your nose, depending on your palate. Uh, if you have an exceptional nose, an exceptional palate, you're a seasoned whiskey veteran, drinker, person, enthusiast, whatever, you might think this is a little bit on the kind of, uh, you know, but if you're kind of starting out, you're gonna like that. Anyway, on the palate, cilantro. That maple syrup slash sugary demerara is at the, the, the forefront there, kind of like a burnt sugar thingy note going on. You could be maple, maple syrup, demerara, or burnt kind of sugar. Um, there's a berry sweetness in there as well, which is quite nice, like a raspberry. Um, and then surprisingly from the malt on my palate right now, I'm getting a little bit of that apple coming through. Medium complexity again. We think, think simple to medium complexity, somewhere in the middle there. One more sip, smash it. Yeah. At first I thought it was a little bit viscous, but actually a little bit on the lighter side second time around. Kind of a little bit of an oaky tannin there as well, very slight. Spice isn't crazy, um, medium spice. On the finish then, oak, a little bit of the sugary residue left over. I'm thinking leathery, a little bit of grain, short to medium finish. And a hint of a, like a buttery tannin, like a kind of, it reminds me of like an antique wood note, but not that antique -y forward, kind of like that buttery kind of oaky note from it. If that makes any sense whatsoever. It makes sense to me because I drank a shit ton of whiskey in the last couple of weeks. Stand by for my opinion. So to be fair, I do really like this whiskey. And if you were starting out learning about whiskey, this is a great example of learning about a sherry influenced whiskey on the palate and the nose. The only thing I would say is that what lets this down slightly is the 55 euro mark. I think it's a touch on the high side and a big jump up from the green label. In saying that, not entirely sure what I buy a second bottle after the first one is gone. I don't know, I battle with it. I would recommend it to someone, however, starting out, definitely. The general consensus on the night, I had this in my tasting was the same. A lot of folks really did agree about the sherry finish. Um, we all figured that there must have been some really fresh Oloroso barrels used here as the nose is truly immense in sherry. Like I said, great for beginners. If you're starting out, you wanna, you wanna nose a sherry blended whiskey and have sherry forward. Um, once again, I wanna give a shout out to Sarah, the lovely Sarah in McConnell's for uh, sending me this bottle. All thoughts are genuinely and obviously my own. And we do have a bottle of it on its way here. It should be here today at some stage um, that lads have purchased, of course. So if you're looking for a dram, it will be behind the bar here when you come down after today. Thanks to the lads in Christie's uh, for all the hospitality. Make sure you're subscribed for some awesome future videos. Uh, I do promise we have tons of stuff coming. Finally, I know I've been saying it for the last 18 months, but. Well, make sure you're subscribed and stay close to the socials. Until the next episode, be sure to keep it Irish. Slancha.